Hi everyone, welcome back, and here's another video of me playing the Pokemon Traded Card Game. And today I'll be going up against Michael, who had, at um, the day that I recorded this, he had just built a fresh Eveltal EX deck. And I'm playing my Darkrai deck, and this is actually the second battle that we had, but, um, but the first one was not so good. I'm not going to get any farther than that, but let's just say this one will definitely be more worth it uh, for me to record and and put up for you guys. So here we go. Um, uh, not much to say, except that I think that Eveltal EX is one of the best EX cards that we've had forever and definitely an indication that darkness type decks are not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, we've had big dark type decks in format since Darkrai came out om almost two years ago now, I think. So, and they're going to stay here for at least another two years. Um, so, man, just the dark type decks in, that we're having right now. And I think that Eveltal, the deck, is probably the most powerful deck in format. Even more powerful than Gothigore. Not, not Gothigore, what am I thinking? Um, Garbodor. I think it's um, more powerful than that because it doesn't rely on abilities. So if Garbodor, d if it does face a Garbodor deck, it doesn't risk getting shut down. So I'm just uh, so we begin here. I believe I'm going to go first. Yep. So I start out with Sableye. He starts out with a non ex Veltal. I call it Mini Veltal. So um, that's uh, that. That's just the name I gave it. And that's a really good start for him, because even if he doesn't have anything on the bench, that's a very good thing to set up and get stuff powered up on the bench, and at the same time deal damage. And since he's going second, that's great. So, I attach to Sableye, and then ask if I can uh, take back the attachment, so I can Ultra Ball away the Darkness Energies. Uh, and... Basically, whenever you play a game, if you attach an energy, uh, but before you do anything else, you can request to uh, take the energy back, and uh, if your opponent says yes, then you can do it, but if they say no, then you're stuck with it. Uh, just a interesting little rule there. So, I played Bicycle, and off that Bicycle I got an N and played it, and that's an N promo from League. Uh, in order to get that, you have to go to League, and I, I don't know if all Leagues do this, but at my League, you just need to complete a week, um, one row per week. And each time you complete a row on your little trainer card, then you get a promo card. In this case, the season promo was N, and that's the only way to get that particular art of N. And since I go every single week, I have enough of them to pretty much put into my deck if I wanted, but I... I only decided to um, put in two so I could leave in my two full art ends as well. I do love this art though, it's pretty awesome. And it's nice to see an old style reverse hollow. So, <laughs> right after I end him down to four, I played, I'm sorry, right after I end him down to six, I played red card and, and put his hand down to four. I felt like a little bit of a jerk there, but uh, you guys, if you play the game, you have to begin expect. Um, excuse me, you have to expect to see that from now on because red card is a thing and is really really big turn one um, it's really good for almost any time during the game there there are exceptions I'm not gonna say it's good for every single situation I'm not even gonna say it's the best trainer card ever printed but it is a very very good card and if you can take it into your deck then I highly recommend it of course it's up to you but um, and I still have an energy attachment for the turn, so after he got those four cards, I'm going to attach to Darkrai and pass, since I couldn't Junk Hunt even if I wanted to. He flips Tails on the Sleep, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, he's stuck there. Uh, he does have a Darkrai in hand, so if I were him, I would play that down. Um, yep, and then he's going to Ultra Ball away uh, Verbank City Gym, because he does not want for the poison to add up against him. And I can't quite tell what the other one is. Maybe a dark patch? I can't quite tell. So, yeah, he gets another Eveltal. A small Eveltal. Mini Eveltal. <laughs> and um, a bunch of people pronounce it different ways. Eveltal, Eveltal. I pronounce it Eveltal because uh, it just looks more like an Eveltal like to me. 
Oh, I'm sorry, he got in the Veltal EX. Sorry, um, the art looks very similar for both of them, um, so, especially from this angle, but anyway, so, my apologies, he got in the Veltal EX. I don't know what his last card is, it could be a random receiver, actually, I don't think it's a supporter at all. He does not have a supporter for this turn, I, he doesn't even have an energy, unless that's his last card. Oh, he has a bicycle. That'll get him something. Uh, he did get a supporter and an energy off of that. And a Keldeo. So he can rush in to get out of the poison and the sleep. So the Keldeo was exactly what he needed there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I guess he's just trying to decide exactly what to do. Because he also has a Juniper. Oh, he has a Muscle Band, which he's going to attach to Veltal. Exactly the same thing as Dark Claw, except it works for all Pokemon. But with the Veltal decks, you could put in either or, and it would work just well. So he dis he uses Juniper and discards his last card in his hand, which was a Darkness Energy, and that's the that's the good thing to do, because the Veltal is exactly the same as Darkrai. You need the Darkness Energy in the discard pile. He did draw one Energy off of that at least, so that's good. I think he also drew a laser, maybe two lasers. It looks like two lasers. So, he has a few options here. Um, yeah, and he also drew an, another muscle band. I think that's his Juniper as well. Um, he is having a really good comeback turn here. So he can rush in uh, to get rid of the poison and then retreat into his Aveltal. And energy switch to Aveltal. That's another card that was in his hand. Then he's going to Oblivion Wing, does 30 to my Sableye, and he moves a Darkness Energy from his discard pile to one of his benched Pokemon. So now it's my turn. I attach an Energy to Sableye. I could try to power up Darkrai here, but I think the safer play is just to uh, Junk Hunt. Because he would need to power up um, another Veltal in order to do stuff to me. So I use Energy Search there, and after this I ended up replacing my Energy Searches with... Professor's Letter, which is just like Energy Search times two, but it's still an item card. And I decide to get nothing, and then I bicycle for two. I really hate to do this, but I had to discard two Energy Switches there. Uh, and a Darkness Energy, so that helped. And I need a lot of stuff here in order to get a Darkrai powered up, but as I said, that's probably not the best play right now. I, I should save my Darkrai for later. I... I uh, did draw a Verbank. I'm going to Tool Scrapper away his Muscle Band. I would have preferred for him to put down another tool before using Tool Scrapper, but I don't know if he ever will, so best to use it now. Uh, Mr. Mime on the bench, just in case he decides to power up his Darkrai, then my bench is safe. And then I am going to Junk Hunt to end my turn. Um, get an Energy Switch back because just discarding two of them and I only run three, that was painful. And uh, probably Hypnotoxic Laser. Uh, red card will do me no good right now, so uh, I go for the laser. And that's the end of my turn. He draws an Ultra Ball. Uh, he already had a Tool Scrapper in his hand, so he uses it to get rid of the Dark Claw on my Dark Rye. I think it's the same situation. He had hoped to use it later when I had more tools in play, but... Obviously, I only had one Dark Cry, and there was no way I was going to put a Dark Claw on anything else, so why not? So he ended up using a Laser and Oblivion Wing, and that was his turn. And I drew Dark Patch. If I had a Darkness-type Pokemon on the bench, that would be perfect, because then I could Dark Patch onto it and then Energy Switch. But I can't do that, because... Because uh, Dark Patch only works for Darkness-type Pokemon, and I don't have any on the bench. I have a Water-type Keldeo EX and a Psychic-type Mr. Mime. So I'm going to have to Computer Search here and get a Darkness Energy. I would really prefer to uh, Computer Search for a Professor Juniper, but I will have no guarantee of pulling a Darkness Energy off of it. And I already have one Energy Search in the discard pile, and I only have one more in my deck. So I'm going to play the safe route here and computer search away an ultra ball and a darkness uh, and a dark patch and get a darkness energy just so now I can knock out that eveltal it has 130 HP it already has 10 on it 
after Night Spear and the laser, I will knock it out. And I'm going to put 30 on the Eveltal EX on the bench. And now we're tied for prizes. <clears throat> and basically in this game, every move counts. Uh, when you're up against an Eveltal deck, you have to be as careful as possible. And when you're playing the Eveltal deck, you need to be as careful as possible. You absolutely cannot risk misplaying even once. Uh, and that's one great thing about these decks is they're so powerful, but they still have a few drawbacks. Like if you were to Oblivion Wing and then move a, a Darkness Energy to the wrong Pokemon on your bench, then that would come back and bite you later. So he lasers me, does not put me to sleep, but any help he can get right now is, is great. And he used a Dark Patch earlier to um, put onto the benched Eveltal EX. And he puts a Muscle Band on another Eveltal EX that I think he just benched this turn, and then he plays in, uh, putting us down to five cards. I think, actually, he might have... Uh, I might have had five in my hand. I'm not exactly sure how many. But, uh, you know, the, the the point is, we both get a decent amount. Not, um, We both get the exact same amount. So he's both helping me and hurting me because... Uh, he knew that I had an energy switch from uh, the junk hunt from a while ago. So I get five cards, and he gets five cards. Uh, he got two supporters off of that, and another Evel Taliex, and a Darkness Energy. He has yet to attach for this turn, so he's going to put it onto Keldeo so he can retreat for free, thanks to Darkrai's Dark Cloak ability. And uh, we're not even halfway through the game. <laughs> As you can see by the uh, length of the video, uh, we're not even halfway through. So he benches his 30 Veltal EX, uh, retreats into his fresh uh, into his fully Veltal EX, and after poison and his attack, of, um, X. I'm sorry, Evil Ball. I have 10 HP left, barely not enough to knock uh, to to be knocked out. So I tool scrapper away his tools and Juniper away, a red card, and an N. And if I get a laser here, which I did, then I can knock out that Eveltal, but I get knocked out as well. I don't, um, I really, oh shoot. What was I thinking? I should have, that was a misplay. I should have attached to the Keldeo, rushed in and retreated, then I wouldn't be knocked out by the poison. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't see that at the time. Well, you live, you learn. That's another reason why I record these videos, so I learn from my mistakes. So I knock out Isabeltal, and then I get knocked out by Poison. Now we're both down to three prizes. And when when it when it's a draw knockout, um, I don't know what the correct term, for, but when both yours and your opponent's active Pokemon are knocked out, um, your opponent sends up their Pokemon first if you're the one who uh, who attacked last turn. If your opponent attacked and knocked themselves out and you, then you promote and the other way around. So, uh, he has options, but at the same time, I'm in a pretty good spot. I have a Mr. Mime up there, which I'm more than happy to sacrifice. It's obvious he's not interested in powering up his Darkrai, so. If I lose a prize out of it, that's fine. It'll give me time to set up my own dark rise and at this point it's a pretty even match even though um even though i don't have any save lion in play and i only have one energy on my dark eye i think i'm in a pretty good spot but then again so is he and this is what i was saying earlier uh if Veltal is such a big deck and I just run straight Darkrai. Uh, if I had the Eveltal, I would run an Eveltal deck, but I don't. And I'm not interested in spending money to um, buy them. And no one is interested in trading them, believe me on that. You're just going to have to take my word on that. Uh, if you have Eveltal EX and you're willing to trade them to me, by all means. But something tells me you don't want to, because just looking at this video, it'll show you how powerful Eveltal EX is. And his Eveltals have not even used their second attack, Why Cyclone? does 90 damage and you move an energy from your active Eveltal to one of your benched Pokemon. Um, Evil Ball does more damage if you're up against an opponent that has a lot of energy on it, but if 
all you need is 90 damage, then you could do that and then start powering up something on your bench, which he did right there. He used Y Cyclone to knock out my Mr. Mime, then moved the double colorless energy to his benched Keldeo. I'm sorry, his benched Eveltal EX. And I promote my Dark Eye with energy on it. I have a red card in hand, and I can see that he has way more than four cards, so I'm tempted to use it. I'm also going to use a laser. I need a lot in order to do stuff, but I um there's no way I can knock this out in one hit. There's absolutely no way. And that is the one drawback to Dark Rite. It cannot one shot EXs. It's impossible. Unless it's a very small EX like Emolga or Shaman. And even then, you need a laser and Verbank in play or a Dark Claw in order to do it. That's the one drawback to Dark Rye, and in my opinion, why Veltal is the better Darkness EX. Because even though Veltal cannot target the bench, it still does more damage overall uh, when you consider Evil Ball and stuff. So I can see that I can't power up a Dark Rye this turn, so I retreat into my Sableye and energy switch to the Sableye, and I'm going to Junk Hunt. I'm just I, I've just got to be safe. And at the very least, now I have 30 damage on both his active Eveltal and his benched Eveltal. So if I can get another Dark Claw onto my Dark Rai and a laser, then that is going to knock it out. And I did not pay attention to my discard pile. Spoiler alert, I did not have another Dark Claw in my deck. Both of them were in my discard pile. I, that was my fault. I really should have grabbed a Dark Claw with Sableye's Junk Hunt there, but I didn't. And that was another misplay of mine. I think if I had gotten that instead, and if I had um, if I had attached to the Keldeo earlier instead of the Dark Rite, well, I don't know. It may have had a different outcome, but it may not have. It may have turned out exactly the same way as it did um, at the very end of this video. I'm trying not to give away spoilers, but now it's Michael's turn. He is really trying to figure out what to do. He has left his Keldeo EX active, trying t um, to decide exactly who to retreat into, because obviously he doesn't want to attack with Keldeo, that's just silly. He plays in, um, I'm down, I, he only gets two cards off this end, but if it's two cards that he needs, then that's perfect. I get three cards, um, which is going to hurt me a little bit, because I had more than that in my hand. So my if I had gotten a Dark Claw there, then it then it would have just gotten shuffled back into my deck anyway. He retreats into the same Eveltal that he had got just gotten out of poison. And then he uses Y Cyclone to knock out Sableye and move an energy to his bench. I promote my new Dark Rai. And I attach an energy to it. And I random receiver. I really need a Juniper here. And it looks like I got it. If I had gotten an end, that would have hurt a lot, because I just need as many cards as I can get. So, I count the number of cards left in my deck. It looks like I have nine. I could play Juniper here. Um, at the time, I was really hoping for a Dark Claw and a Laser, because that's exactly what I need. And a Dark Patch and an Energy Switch. Ooh, I was asking for a lot off this Juniper. But I thought I knew exactly what was left in my deck. I miscounted the number of Dark Claws in my discard pile because I am an idiot. <laughs> so I play Juniper here and just hope for the best. I need a lot of stuff and it looks like I got everything but the Dark Claw. Or it looks like I got the Dark Patch, the Energy Switch, the Laser, but I did not get the Dark Claw. If I had gotten the Dark Claw, then I would knock out this Eveltal, and I would be all set up to do major damage next turn, but I did not. So, I can only... I, I'm going to be 20 short. And... That's not preferable. I'm going to laser his active, and don't put it to sleep, but still, that'll add 30 damage to my attack. I'm going to double Dark Patch onto Dark Rye, Energy Switch, one of them to the active. If I had just gotten the Dark Claw from my Junk Hunt, 
this would be completely different. I would knock out this Veltal right here, right now. But I, this is why you guys should pay attention to your discard pile. Don't just assume that there's stuff in there and that there's other stuff in your deck. Just pay, pay as much attention as possible. And yeah, that's that's all I could say. <laughs> so I'm going to be 20 short and I'm going to put another 30 to the bench uh, Eveltal. He draws an energy switch, and I can't quite tell. No, he has another laser in his hand, and I think an Ultra Ball or a Juniper, one of those. So he has to be very careful here um, about what he does. We're both in a very sticky situation. Even though he's down to one prize, he is going to have an extremely hard time knocking out a Dark right here. And I just realized I didn't use my Keldeo the whole game. Now I feel really stupid. So I have two misplays that I need to remember never to repeat ever again. Especially against the Veltal decks because the Veltal decks are so powerful. And this uh, this video is a very good example as to why. You know, he's only ever attacked with his mini Veltal and his regular Veltal. And he that's all he needs. Keldeo is there for support. Darkrai is there for the free retreat, and that's it. That's all the Pokemon you need. You could tech in, you know, Mr. Mime or Absol, um, but uh, honestly, you hardly ever need to. If you're if you're up against, say, a Sigilyph or a Suicune, you know, something that blocks EX attackers, then just send up your mini Eveltal to do damage. Or if you're up against something that blocks abilities, doesn't matter because Eveltal EX doesn't have abilities. This deck can really get around almost everything. Uh, and so he's going to rush in there to get out of the poison so he doesn't get knocked out in between turns. And he probably could retreat to his other Eveltal EX, but... Uh, but what he ends up doing, uh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself and ahead of the video, but what he ends up doing is retreating into his mini Eveltal, because that can take a hit. There's absolutely no way I can knock it out unless I get a Dark Claw. And I just admitted that all my Dark Claws were in my discard pile, and I didn't realize it. So, yeah, we converse a lot, so what? <laughs> so he's going to retreat into his mini Eveltal here soon. But it takes him a long time to come to that decision. Um, he's really wanting to send up one of his Eveltal EXs to do damage, but that's not the correct move. He needs to send up something that can take a hit. So right there, he sent up his Eveltal, energy switched, and he's going to use Oblivion Wing after he uses a laser. So now I'm asleep and poisoned. <clears throat> so I take, uh, I'm up to 60 damage altogether, and I stay asleep. I need an I have an energy switch, so I should energy switch from the Dark Ride to Kelio. Yep. Rushed in, retreated, get out of the sleep and poison. And now I'm going to end. I'm going to end myself down to. Th I only have two cards left, and I just end and put myself to three. So this is my last turn. There's absolutely no way I could win. I knew that after I revealed that I had my Dark Claw prized. If I had got my Dark Claw from Junk Hunt, this would be a different story. But. Ultimately, I made two big misplays, and it came back and bit me. So I Night Spear, put 30 on the mini of Eltal, and knock out the bench of Eltal EX. We're both down to one prize, and he has won. He could either pass, and I would deck out, and he would win, or he could, what he's going to do is send up his Eveltal EX, and Y Cyclone, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> Evil Ball for the game. And that was an extremely good game. I had a lot of fun. I learned about Eveltal EX and its humongousness. And again, if any of you have Eveltal EX for trade, I'd be more than happy to trade for them. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you are interested in running Eveltal EX decks, this should show you how powerful it is. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more.